going everybody Mason Otto here and today I'm gonna actually be doing my first uh, automotive sort of uh, video I'm gonna be doing a quick little overview of my slash my mom's car uh, our 2001 Acura TL and the reason why I say it's partly my car is because I'm the one who's responsible for maintenance on it if anything ever needs to get fixed um, I'm the one who actually does the research and actually gets it done so yeah, it's a, uh, like I said, 2001 Acura TL. It's got a 3.2 liter uh, V6 engine in it. And um, it has a uh, VTEC on it. So a variable valve timing on it. So yeah, give me one second. I will be right with you guys. Okay, so we're at the area that we're going to be recording here, and um, I'll be right back with you guys in just a second because I have got to pop the hood and get some stuff out of the trunk so I can keep the hood because this car's got broken struts. So they don't work, so I'll be right back with you guys and we'll get started. So yeah, we're here, guys, and here is she is said the 2001 Acura with its 3.2 liter VTEC V6 engine not it's not a really big engine I mean 3.2 liters for a V6 is not bad but I don't think anybody will be racing in this especially considering that Acura is more of a luxury car considering they're the uh, luxury line of Honda but other than that say we got the actual block in here our battery, our air filter, and just other things like that. So you may be asking, I have most of us to do a Google search on the Acura TL and know what the specs are. I want to know what have you done to it? As far as modifications go, nothing. Uh, mainly, like this car is old and has a whole bunch of problems on it. So mainly, we've just been fixing things. It's like the biggest example is this right here the high pressure power line uh power steering line was leaking right around this area right here so we had to get a replacement for it and basically what we had to do in order to get it fixed is we had to unbolt these two here so we could lift this up out we had to undo this bracket down here and then down there there's an o2 sensor i'm not sure if you all can see it or not but we had to um unplug that and then you're there's supposed to be a couple brackets underneath of the car that you have to unbolt in order to get to um, the line but on this car for some reason the, the bolts just weren't there and finally you see them like silver bolts down there we had to unplug those we had to unbolt those and then we could uh, take it out so we did 
Uh, and originally we had bought the part from a website and on the picture it looked like the complete copy of the part that we had is newer. But they sent us the wrong part. They sent us a part to a completely different car. And we tried installing it because the uh, person that my mother called for the part said that it would fit on our car just fine. And everything did fit just fine up until this end part right here. And that gave us a pain. So my uh, buddy ended up having to look in a junkyard for about five hours trying to find a part uh, that would fit to us. Thank God for that. He eventually did. And then we got this on, so the power steering line's fixed. So, what needs to be done with it now? This entire section needs to be taken off. And the reason why is because down here, the idle air control valve is not working properly. So, I'll co show you guys here in a minute. When this car idles, it'll either idle hop or it's idling real hard. So I need to disassemble the entire throttle body here just to get to the idle air control valve and clean it out or replace it if need be. Well, yeah, that's basic overview. That's what we have done to it. That's what we need to get done to it. But ultimately, once we're able to, we're just going to get a new car. This thing is just so old and so many issues with it. It's just not worth having it anymore. So yeah, that's basically a basic overview. I'll see you all later.